Hey guys, welcome to the video number 13 of the entire, you know, cryptography series. And in the previous one, we have discussed about PKI. Now in this one, we are going to talk about a very special subject, which is called as web of trust. So very, very important topic and, you know, very good to understand that uh, for your lifelong concept clearance. So let's get into this particular topic called as web of trust and we will try to understand what it is. So, what is web of trust? See, before we go and talk about web of trust, let me first talk about uh, root of trust. Root of trust, you might be looking, okay, what is this term? This is nothing, man. It's the alternate name of PKI. Okay, because in this we use root CA, right? which establish root CA is used to establish the entire trust. So sometimes we refer PKI also by root of trust. So don't ever get confused in the exam. This is one model wherein the trust is established in a centralized way. Isn't it? In root of trust or PKI, the trust is centralized. It is centralized with the root CA, the central CA. And then I will not believe you, you will not believe me, but everybody will believe the uh, certificate authority. So that is what is called as root of trust. In this one, we are not going with the centralized approach. When we say web of trust, it is a model where the trust is distributed. Trust is distributed. What does this mean that trust is distributed? It means that, let's say there is an environment and let's say there are 10 users. They are all using internal, they are all using asymmetric cryptography, right? But they are not using a central CA. They are not using a central CA. What is the main purpose of CA? The main purpose of CA is to give you assurance that a particular public key is really attached to some valid entity, isn't it? That is what the assurance we get by having the CA. Now, in this one, we do not have that CA. Instead of that, what we do, let's say a new guy is joining and he has a public key and private key. So, he will publish his public key and this public key will then be signed by different users across. The more people sign this particular public key, that means that public key can be trusted more. Okay, that public key can be trusted more. Also, the transitive trust also works in this. Now, what is transitive trust? Just to understand it in just one this thing, Mr. A trust on Mr. B. Mr. A trust on Mr. B. Now, Mr. B also trust on Mr. C. So, what will happen is, Mr. A also is starting trust on Mr. C because it is being trusted by B. This particular model is called as transitive trust. Now, even though transitive trust is not good, in today's world we are going with zero trust architecture, all of that, but this is also one thing which actually happens in web of trust. If, let's say, a new guy want to send a message to this guy who is new to the environment, and he will then validate, okay, if, if all these people have signed. If le let's say 70% of the people have signed and validated the identity of a particular person, you are not going to worry about rest 30. You are going to take it as a transitive trust and you are going to trust because other parties have signed the particular digital uh, key, uh, you can say public key. Okay. So, this is also called as peer trust as well. It is also called as peer trust or peer to peer trust, where the other party can endorse, the other party can endorse a particular uh, key pair by signing the public key. Okay. This is exactly the model which is used in many different forms. We use it in PGP, pretty good privacy, right. There is also another thing which is called as open PGP, which is a, which is a free, uh, you know, version of the entire PGP, which is based on GNU uh, privacy guard, G 
एन यू पी जी वी ऑल्सो यूज इट इन मेनी केसेस इन इन क्रिप्टो करेंसी एज वेल दैट इज ऑल्सो वेयर वी हैव लेजर्स विच आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एंड दे आर दे आर डिजिटली साइंड बाई डिफरेंट पीपल वी डोंट हैव ए सर्टिफिकेट ऑथोरिटी इन दैट केस ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ मॉडल इज ऑल्सो एडेप्टेड बाई मेनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन who are middle size and they do not have the capability or they do not have the required resources to set up the entire central ca and everything so they can also go and implement uh, this thing it is a great way to implement but this technology couldn't flourish well because you know uh, if you remember domain number 1 there are something called as uh, you know import ex export regulations this technology got evolved in us and because of import export regulation it was never well communicated to the world and that is why for years together this particular technology got stuck now as of now you can see for pgp there is a commercial version as well there is a free version as well so many companies on a enterprise level they go with the commercial version also okay now it's not that this is the best this is also one of the way to do things which is called a web of trust this can also be there can be some challenges as well for example there can be a trust manipulation there is a potential of trust manipula uh, manipulation uh, people need to be educated as well they just should not blindly go and sign somebody's public key that is also very important and uh, there are stability issues as well when we are taking this entire pgp for a big network normally pgp is good for small network not for very big network that is where you should go and use pki so guys this was the entire stuff on the web of trust i hope you enjoyed this particular concept and with that let's go to concept number 14 in our next video